On May 4th, I decided that I'm going to run 100 miles in the month of May. Why did I decide to do this? Uh, I think going through something difficult has always been something that I felt strongly about, where I think if I challenge myself enough, if I set a target that's high enough that it scares me, I tend to outperform my usual performance. What do I mean by that? Well, last year I thought that I ran pretty frequently. I ran a few 5Ks, I did a 10K, I just ran around the neighborhood and it was pretty consistent, or so I thought. Um, but my total mileage for last year was 87.5 miles. That's for the entire year of 2017. This month alone, in the past 28 days, I was able to manage exactly 100 miles. The app I use to track my running on my phone is called RunKeeper. Uh, I really like it because it's easy to use and it also has this data export feature where you can just get all of your data into a CSV file um, which ports easily into Tableau. So what you see here is my RunKeeper data analysis from May 2018 where I had the 100 mile challenge and the, the top chart here is really showing a, a running total of my running mileage and it, you can see it increases gradually because it adds onto itself and it gets up to 100 miles. And then the, the chart underneath that is the daily mileage. So every single day, even the days that I didn't run, as you see here, uh, basically starting from May 4th, because that was the first running day for me in May. I wish I had started the challenge on May 1st because that would have really helped me distribute all of the, the running over the different days, but that's fine. Um, looks like I, I was able to do 100 miles in 28 days, so feels pretty, pretty good. Um, also on the bottom, I do have some annotations that show where I hurt my calf. Uh, there was a lot of rain over these days, and you know I realized something about myself was that I truly enjoyed running in the rain, which I never thought I would. Uh, but it really is empowering when you see people, you know, slowly walking, cowering under their umbrellas, and I'm just sprinting past them you know, listening to my music, listening to the speeches that I have on my, in my AirPods. Um, towards the end, it got pretty tough. I had a knee injury, my legs hurt, my feet hurt. I bought new shoes to try to mix things up, and I don't know if that helped or harmed me. But either way, I pushed through it, and what really helped was, you know, stretching every couple of miles. It helped to listen to my favorite music. It helped to picture myself completing this challenge thinking about uh, some of the people around me who thought that it was crazy that I'm even doing this. I'm not a regular runner. Um, last year, as you can see here, my total annual mileage was 87.5 miles, and I tried to beat that in a month, and I was able to hit my goal. And the reason I even hit, I, I, the reason I even started this was um, because 100 miles scared me. It sounded like a lot, and it is a lot. Um, when, when I did the math, it was, close to four, three and a half, I think three and a half miles a day because I'd started on May 4th instead of May 1st. And that sounded doable, but then when you get injured and you have to skip a couple of days or something comes up with work or my personal life and I had to skip a couple of days, that really adds up where I had to do, you know, like seven, eight miles in a single day, which what you see here wasn't a, a straight, you know, run nonstop. In some cases, I would leave the house two or sometimes even three times a day to do my running because I just wanted to get the miles in. Uh, another thing that helped was listening to motivational speeches and audiobooks. So I started an audiobook called Running Man, which is amazing. And I listened to a lot of David Goggins speeches because I think He's been through a lot and hearing some of his struggles, like when he had to run 100 miles in under 24 hours, that was truly motivational because, you know, he talked about the pain that he was going through and I was feeling pain that I thought wasn't even close to the pain that he must have been feeling. So I, I think things like that put things put it into perspective for me and I was able to just keep going. And I think the fact that I did keep going kept kept my mind like it kept telling myself that, wow, look at you, you can do this. And it, it was just very empowering. So I'm truly happy that I got to do this experience and probably something I will do again. I think it's also prepared me in, in terms of thinking about, you know, maybe doing some half marathons or 
you know, maybe even potentially doing a full marathon in a year or two. Uh, so, yeah, it was just wanted to share my experience.